Hey, Jimmy Beach here with Alien Skin Software. In this video, we'll focus our attention on the new lightning effect in iCandy 7. Most of iCandy is oriented toward graphic design rather than photography, but lightning is realistic enough that it can be used on photos too. I'll show you how. I already have an image open in iCandy. I'll press the Effects button and choose Lightning. As a first step, I'll move the start and end points in the preview panel. Let's place the lightning in a natural position in the image. I usually start the bolt on the underside of a cloud. I also look for an area lighter than its surroundings, hinting at the glow coming from the lightning. For the end point, this sharp ground plane is a good place for the lightning to strike. For precise control and to see more detail, I'm going to zoom in. I'll switch to the zoom tool and then drag around the area I'm interested in. Now I can see better to adjust the start and end points. After I get the points where I want them, I'll change to the Hand tool to make the control points disappear. This way I have a better view of my workspace. Change back to the Adjustment tool if you want to move them again. Now I'll look through the factory presets. As we mouse over the presets, the navigator shows what they'll look like. Notice that the start and end points are not moved by a factory preset. The presets are separated into two categories. Normal is for lightning that tapers to a point, which is good for lightning hitting the ground. Solid arc is for lightning that remains thick along its length and is better for lightning between clouds. The navigator is handy for quick browsing, but let's see what some of the presets look like in our image. I'll go with this one. Now let's customize it a little using the controls on the right. On the basic tab, arc thickness usually needs to be adjusted. Lightning has a random component that I usually experiment with for each scene. At the bottom of the basic tab, hit the random seed button until you like the path and branching. If you need to go back, just use undo and redo. Now let's switch to the glow tab. I'll adjust the flash at the start of the bolt so it looks like the cloud is glowing around it. I'll squash the perspective to fit the scene. I'll adjust the glow intensity by experimenting with glow width and opacity. You can make a really brilliant glow, but in this case I'm going to keep it pretty soft. For realistic lightning, use white for the inner color, which is in all of the factory presets. A pale outer color can be dramatic, but if you're going for realism, then keep it pretty close to white. And now we're done. That looks pretty good. After all that work, let's make sure we can create the effect again later. I'll save it as a user preset. Remember that factory presets don't change the start and end points. In contrast, user presets do set the lightning position. Notice that as I click on these user presets, the preview shows the lightning in different positions. And that's all for the lightning effect video. This is Jimmy Veach. Thanks for watching.